Hello and welcome. This is my uh, go through footage of the Supernova um, convention here in Sydney. Um, I'm trying out a new mic with a pop filter, so I'm seeing how that goes. Um, but what you're seeing here is they had like a 30th anniversary of Mad Max. Um, I think in America the original one was called Road Warrior. So they had some of the original cast in the background at those uh, tables or booths. Um, but they had some random cars. I thought it would be a good way to start off the video, just something random. Um, of the Mad Max stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't worry about... It wasn't a really movie thing for me. Um, uh, anime booth. There was a few anime booths around. Um, with some random anime toys. Alright, here's some retro toys. There was a lot of toys. Uh, a lot of expensive toys, which you'll see in a second. You'll see Stone Cold Steve Austin for $50. That's right. I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I would love to get into wrestling figures. Um, but I ain't paying 50 bucks. Uh, some Star Wars stuff. Um, looking back at some of the footage now, I should, probably should have bought some uh, Star Wars toys. Uh, what I really wanted was um, a Jar Jar Binks toy, looking back now. Uh, but the random bins, a lot of toy booths this year, a lot of pop vinyl uh, booths, and a lot of toys, um, compared to last year where it was a lot of comic books, um, but this year was a lot of toys, look how yellow that plastic is, <laughs> plastic yellow, um, look at some of the prices, oh, so, let's get into that, the pricing here in Australia, what you need to remember, if you're like, oh, I can get that cheaper, uh, any time point, point throughout this video, uh, keep in mind that these are Australian prices. If you want to know what they are with the conversion rates, go to go to the US dollar, where you are in the world, go to Google, type in USD to AUD, and then type in the AUD section, uh, which is the Australian price, so put $20 in for that figure, and it'll come up with the US dollar equivalent, um, or $40. Uh, so that gives you an idea. With the comic books at the end, you'll, you'll have a, probably have a heart attack for our prices, but when you put it into a USD converter, um, it'll, it'll have you less of a <laughs> heart attack. And you, the other thing you've got to remember is there are more people in the state of Texas than the whole entire... Uh, Australia. So, uh, things are just rarer here because there's not many people, um, especially comic books. There's like five in my major city. Um, actually, there's not even that anymore. Uh, a couple have closed down. Uh, here's some comic book prices just to give you an idea. Um, uh, same booth, I think. Yeah, same booth because they have the same stickers. But that's $8 if I can see correctly. Um, just to give you an idea what some of the comic books are worth. Flick through. Uh, I didn't grab anything. Um, a lot of 80s toys. I, I didn't really get into He-Man as a kid. And there was a lot of He-Man stuff. Um, I really want to get into uh, figures and stuff. Um, which is a whole new <laughs> rabbit hole. But. Uh, I'll talk about this in another video. But Ninja Turtles and wrestling are the two main ones I want to go for. Um. Oh, that was a random shot. There we go. More Master of the Universe again. Look at that. 80 bucks. 80 dollars for a toy. And then it gets worse. 120. 120. I don't know what figure that is. Ah, uh, 200. There you go. 200. We're in the dollar bins now. The dollar dollar bin, sorry. Um, hook for 40. And that's 150 dollars. And then first gambit over there is 200 dollars. Again, Australian dollars, so put it into a US converter so you can see what um, the prices are, but <laughs> insane. Robotech Toys. Uh, Robotech um, is an interesting uh, franchise, um, but some of those prices for the toys are pretty dollar dollar bills, y'all. Except for that one, that was reasonably priced, 25 bucks. Which I thought was pretty good. Lost in Space toys. Batman toys. 
they they looked very derpy. <laughs> Look at his face, derpy derpy. <laughs> Sixty bucks, anyone? Oh, there was a ninety for Robin. I missed that one before. Um, hundred and eighty for Captain Marvel toy. More Master of the Universe. Uh, pops galore. There was so many pop toys, as I said before. Now, granted, <laughs> I have bought a few of them. Not not for this store, but I I think I bought six, six maybe pops, um, which I'll show in a different video. This video will be gigantic long with all my comic pickups and everything. Um, ah, trading cards. That was the other thing. I actually picked up a trading card, which I'll show in my toy video actually. Um, but I actually have still some of these from when I was a kid, which. <laughs> I will show in a video coming up soon, but um, I didn't. The thing that worries me about buying the Ninja Turtles and the Batman uh, trading cards is they have the stick of gum still in it, and thirty years of stick of gum in pack of cards probably won't. Buffy probably won't end up too well. Uh, here are some graded comics. Um, oh, this is from the same booth as the cards um here's to give you some prices but yeah the stick of gum i don't think it will last too well <laughs> there you go three hundred dollars anyone three hundred and fifty one fifty uh that's three hundred i think that's eight hundred for three point five moon knight 70 there was one that was reasonably priced I thought for Australian prices anyway. Um, I can't remember where it was though. It was in one of these ones. This booth I actually bought my a Lobo comic book from. To get signed. I bought it from this booth. What was the comic? I was thinking, oh, it would come up in the video somewhere. Look at that one. 500? <laughs> Again, Australian prices work at it. This one, that's right. Cloak and Dagger. I thought that was pretty reasonably priced um, for Australian prices anyway. 60 bucks for the first one. This dude was so expensive. Um, he had... The stuff in his boxes were fine, but the stuff on the wall uh, was crazy expensive to everywhere else, which I thought was a bit interesting. Um, but some of the stuff in his boxes were fine. I didn't pick up anything. Uh, but yeah, I was like, what is going... That's the thing with these conventions. Some will charge like $500 for a Chrome book, but you go to another booth and they're only charging like 100 So, huge differences. And then you see the dodgy sellers that are buying the cheap ones from all the other stores and then flipping it for more expensive in their own booth. So dumb. I saw that so often uh, last year. Uh, and I... I think I saw it once this year because I heard some of the uh, vendors talking, oh, watch out for them because they're going to scout this. That was a cool foiler cover of Shadow Man. Now, this booth. This is where I got my Grail from, which you'll see in my uh, recap pickups video at the end of this. Um, but look at the prices. A couple of grand, anyone? Again, Australia prices. Uh, 5000 <laughs> for Daredevil. <laughs> Insane. Absolutely insane. This dude had a ASM uh, 15 as well. That was like 15 grand or something like that. Uh, yep, look at the prices. Look, a thousand bucks. He had heaps of 181s of Hulk. Like, heaps. He always has heaps. Almost 15 grand. Thirteen and a half. Four grand. I don't know how many people have that money to burn at conventions. Just oh yeah, I'll drop that I'll drop fifteen grand. Insane. Like if it's something you're really going for, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Like again, I got my grail at this booth. So um yep, there's that. Ghost Rider, four thousand dollars. There we go. There's some more. 
gear for you. 7,000. This dude was really cool. So, even though you might have a heart attack with the prices, um, he any comic that he had that was like not worth anything, it might have been something from the 1950s that was like beat up and, weren't, and not worth anything, he will hide it throughout all of his boxes for sale. And so, if you can find one, and there was a limit per person, you can have it for free. Um, so it could have been like you know something baller, but it was just what wasn't worth se- selling because it's missing the cover. Um, you could have it for free, um, which I thought was really cool. Anyway, that is all I have uh, of the footage, and let's go and have a look at all the pickups I got. So stay tuned. Hello, 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 lovely people. I am back. It has been a very, very long time. Um, since doing any sort of videos, I've just been busy and it's been hectic here, so uh, I finally can sit down and film my pickups from Supernova Comic Convention back in June, I think it was, <laughs> um, here in Sydney. So, uh, these are my pickups. Um, hopefully, before the video, you would have seen uh, some footage I got. Um, of me walking around and seeing the prices and all that sort of stuff so you can get an idea of uh, what Australian prices are um, and so hopefully you can see that video uh, I was waiting for a pop filter to come so I could do a proper voiceover so it sounds a bit better um, for you guys so that's part of the reason why I'm a bit delayed um, so back to Supernova I got some toys which I'll do in a different video um, but there's some toys in the in the Picos video, you'll see that watching back, I was like, ah, oh, I wish I bought that, but I didn't. Um, but for the comic books, I got some, um, but I got a lot of signed comics, so that kind of made up. And I got a grail, uh, which you'll see at the end, um, which is on this list. So let's see which one it is. Uh, I actually picked up two from this list, because um, I have two lists. So that's my previous list, but I didn't get any off this list because uh, they didn't really have any or oh, they had that one but they wanted like insane prices um, Detective Comics 363 um, which I could could have bought off eBay for like so much cheaper so I was like I'll pass um, uh, just because I like it even though it's the second appearance of Batgirl but I love the cover the cover looks sick um, especially with the color popping and all that sort of stuff um, so that's really why I wanted that one um, but I managed to pick up two off this list um, there's another one that is coming as well um, which I ordered anyway let's get into the pickups um, so because it's been so long I don't know how much I paid for each of these um, so bear with me um, but I think this one was like a couple of dollars Deathlock number one it's in actually pretty good condition um, it's got the foily silvery 90s slash 80s sort of deal um, so yeah, it is actually in minty condition. So, death lock number one. From the same vendor, I managed to pick up... Oh, I didn't do this properly. Oh, my bad. Cyberfrog number three. They had number two there, um, but it was ripped at the bottom. And I was like, oh, I'll pass. Um, so, Cyberfrog number three. Um, am I into the sign comics already? Yeah, right. I'm into the sign comics. Surely I bought more. If I find more, then, yeah, I must have, that's all I bought. Anyway, that's all I bought. <laughs> now, the comic books I got signed are, woo, let me just check my signed list. Oh, no, I, I did get more. Yeah, I knew I had more. What is going on? Here we go. Amazing Spider-Man 265, first appearance of Silver Sable. It does have a bit of a, you know, little rolly rolly happening there. Um, but apart from that, there are no spine ticks. Um, the corners are great. Um, so it's in really good condition. I got a good price on this one, for Australia standards anyway. Um, so I was really happy to find this. The thing I found with the conventions is, right, uh, is that some vendors... Uh, and this book was a, a good example. Some were charging like 
insane prices for the same book. You'll go to one vendor, this will be $150. You go to another vendor, it was $30. Um, so big, big differences uh, in vendors. And, and I feel this happens quite a lot at conventions. Um, there are some vendors that will go around, buy all the comic books cheap off the other vendors, and then flip it for insane prices. <laughs> um, there was a number of, over the last couple of years I've seen that where other vendors would flick through other people's stuff and then take it back to their own. I was just like, so dodgy. So, so dodgy. Um, but I guess that's the convention life uh, for making a quick buck. Um, anyway, so that's Silver Sable, um, which is a good pickup. Again, I got it pretty cheap. Um, now we'll get into the signed stuff. Again, I didn't really buy a lot. Like, I did buy some toys and stuff um, of comics, but I got a big growl at the end. Uh, and so you'll see that in a sec. Um, but, got some signed stuff, which is this one Donny Cates signed the Free Comic Book Day Interceptor. I also got him to sign the Silver Surfer Black number one, which I think this is the 1 in 10 or 1 in 25 variant, one of the two. Um, this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 1 in 25 variant, but I could be wrong and it could be the 1 in 10. Either way, it is a uh, incentive variant, and I got him to sign it. It is in minty condition, and so I was happy to have him sign that. Now, the next person, he was a bit interesting, Simon Bisley. Um, I didn't really have any Lobo comics, and I found this one around for super cheap, for like a couple of bucks. Um, it's not in the best condition, but it was something. Um, yeah, he, when I first turned up, me and another guy had our comic books ready to go, uh, and he was just like, All right, I'm off, I'm, he was having a walk around or whatever, and then can you just wait for five, ten minutes? So I was like, me and the other guy were like, sure. And then he comes back, and so we went off and did other things, and he just, <laughs> I handed him the comic, he's trying to make small talk, he was not interested at all, um, <laughs> he just signed it without making any sort of eye contact. Just signed it, handed it back to me, and off the way I was. I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. Um, but anyway, uh, maybe he was just tired, had a bad day, I don't know. But it was just one of those things I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, so that is his signature on Lobo number one. Then, the yearly tradition of getting... Actually, no. We'll go to this guy, because I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Um, this guy. Marvel, uh, Marvel Action Number 1. It was signed by an Aussie guy that did all the art. That is his signature there. Uh, his name is Summer River. Summer River. Um, so, significant about this book is the first time the Avengers are in the IDW universe. So, I was like, ah, oh, that's a cool little thing. And so I got him to sign it. He's in minty condition, which is great to have. And then finally, uh, for signatures anyway, um, the yearly tradition of getting Tom Taylor to sign a whole bunch of comic books, um, that continued. So I got him to sign another X-Men Red number two, first appearance of Trinary, first full appearance, because I think number one is... Uh, her cameo. So I got him to sign that. Then I got him to sign two Friendly Spider-Man, Neighborhood Spider-Man, number six, first appearance of Spider-Bite. So I got him to sign both of those. And then finally, this is one of my cool ones, Deceased number one in gold. Got him to sign this one. He had a whole bunch of variants for this comic that he was selling, that he brought from the USA, um, that people were snapping up quickly. Uh, but they were, like, super expensive. So uh, I was like, ah, oh, pass. Because um, he was charging, like, 40 bucks for them and stuff like that. Like, they were totally worth $40, but I just didn't have the money at that time to get them. 
Alright, now my battery's flashing, so let's get to the list quickly. First one on this list I got ticked off was the Uncanny X Men 244, first appearance of Jubilee. So there we go. Is it in pretty good condition? There's a little indent. It's not broken or anything. There's just a little indent uh, at the top there. But apart from that, no spine ticks, no nothing. Great condition. So I can tick that off my list. There we go. Now finally, I have one I've been searching for for a very, very very long time and that is drum roll please All Star Comics number 58 in amazing condition there's a couple of like ripples along the side but they're not spine ticks or color breaking spine ticks anyway um, there's a few like scratches on it and stuff like that but that's about it uh, I, th I don't think I got a good deal on this um, because I noticed that, you know, the conventions, there's lights everywhere, and you're you're excited to buy stuff, uh, especially when one of these comes along, and you don't, you just like, oh yeah, I need to buy this straight away, blah, 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 blah. But you don't, when, when you get home, you have a proper look at it, like there's a little fluffiness happening in the corner there. But on the back, there is a little water damage mark here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. Right in the corner, or not in the corner, right there. It's a bit dirty as well, um, but it's got a clear back on it. Um, apart from that, it is actually in pretty good condition. Um, so, I, I don't know if I got a good condition or not. Uh, deal, there's a couple of like spine corner things here, not spine, kind of like folds, um, color breaking folds. So I don't know if I got a good deal or not, but the color is popping. Um, there's no real uh, color breaking spine ticks in the side here, apart from that there, and the fluffiness in the corner, and the wa little water damage there. Apart from that, it is actually in pretty good condition. Um, but something I've been looking at for a while, um, and very hard to find here in Australia, especially in this condition, for a reasonable price. So I thought. I had to take it. I had to snap it up really quickly. And that's what I did, as you can see. So I can finally cross this puppy off the list. Jim Lee overlooking in the background. Woo! It is done. So there we go. That is my Supernova convention pickups for 2019. I've got mostly signatures, which is fine. I might do a video on all the signatures I have, actually, because I have a, a large uh, autograph collection of comic books, which is great. Um, so I might do a whole video on that uh, in the future. Um, I managed to pick up a uh, webcam, like a, a good camera, um, to do start doing live streams. So I'm going to start playing around that in the coming weeks. Now that I have a pop folder filter. Uh, I have a, a good microphone and I have a camera. So I'm going to definitely play around with that in the future, so keep looking for that. I've got toys pickup coming. I have another idea uh, floating around um, which I'll reveal on my live stream when I have that. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else is coming up for you to look forward to. Uh, yeah, just the toy pickups. More. Oh, I got a whole big bunch of comic pickups as well uh, that I got from the shop. Um, so be sure to look out that. Oh, I have some subscription boxes uh, as well. Uh, so be sure to look out for that. Uh, one of them is a signed pop. A signed pop. So of a superhero pop. So be sure to look out for that. Anyway, until next time, for more random pickups, um... Comic book stuff, toy stuff. Uh, be sure to check out the live stream coming. And until then, bye.